We're going to head on back here now because we're getting ready for the Ubisoft press conference. And uh, with the show about to start, we have answers to some of the predictions of what Ubisoft might reveal this, uh, this year at uh, their press conference. They have an amazing press conference. And uh, we're, looks like, oh, wow, about only five minutes out um, to the Ubisoft press conference. So with that being the case, I want to hear some last-minute predictions from an awesome all-star panel of esteemed guests. And joining me right now is Polygon News Editor, Allegra Frank, Mega64's Rocco, and returning guests, typical gamer, and Angry Joe. <laughs> What's going on, guys? All right, hey, so we got, we only got four minutes, so it's going to be rapid fire here. Ah. So what do you guys want to see from Ubisoft today? Beyond uh, Good and Evil 2, <laughs> man. Yeah. I, I saw this gameplay video on the internet, right? So everybody's yeah. seen that trailer that is amazing looking, right? Yep. And it's, you can't possibly be that cool. But there's an actual gameplay video. It says E3 2017, where yeah. he was showing a ship and a small ship coming out of another ship. Then the monkey flies around. Then the monkey goes on top of a statue. He zooms out, and, and you see the whole world. You go into outer space, and there's planets, and I'm like, what? Joe's, Joe's fired up. All right. All right so B, BG and E2. Rocco, what do you want to see? Uh, my favorite E3 presentation they ever did was 2010 when they did the, the laser tag yeah. thing. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoping we've had enough. I, you know, I feel like E3 is really corporate this year, and I feel like they should just scale back on the games <laughs> and just do, you know, just have fun. Turn off the video games, put some inflatables on stage. <laughs> and just, Pool party. You know, no, it doesn't even have to involve water. Just, you know, everyone's having fun. No more, you know, we spend enough time on Assassin's Creed and yeah. Beyond Two Souls. I, I've heard enough. I just want to see some fun, you know? All right, well, we'll see, Rocco. Hopefully they can deliver for you. Like, what, what, what do you want to see from Ubisoft? Uh, I think that's a very good okay. <laughs> prediction. <laughs> but um, something that I've been thinking about for a while is that game Wilds. Uh -huh. I know that Michelle Ansel's been working on Beyond Good and Evil, and so it's really exciting to see games like that kind of eke their way out until they're actually released. But Wild, we haven't seen since, I think, 2015. So yeah, that was a Gamescom cool. 2015. They had one reveal trailer, beautiful animals. And, and mm -hmm. yeah, and I don't know what's up with that game. That's yeah. Good, could come back. That would be really cool. That's a great idea. Because I think Ubisoft, you know, they're the one publisher that consistently every year usually has that, like, one more thing, surprise game that you're not predicting. Some people want to see Splinter Cell come back. That's certainly been yeah. highly requested. And there was a uh, Michael Ironside came back and did sort of a DLC for Ghost Recon Wildlands that, like, people predicted, like, oh, might he be back as Sam Fisher? So that could be pretty big. Andre, what are you, uh, what do you, what do you think? It might be cliche, but I'm looking forward to Assassin's Creed. Yeah. I mean, when, when, they, show, when yeah. they show the whole Spartan kick thing yes. with the little preview, that got me hyped up. 300? Right? You see? It got me hyped yeah. up. And they, they've been moving a little bit, you know, with the, with the last one into more of a different sort of combat style. Yeah. And I think that they're going to take that to the next level this year and maybe show something that uh, a lot of people are hoping for. That's right, because they, you know, some people were wondering were they going to make it annualized again? And, yeah. Uh, Sounds like they are, at least this year, going to bring that out. That'll be a big game. We saw a little bit of Division 2 yesterday, which looked pretty good. And that's Xbox press conference. Beanies are back. <laughs> my, my beanie pom-poms. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be that. And I think, you know, they've also got, they, I think with Ubisoft last year, they had a lot of games they announced. So they announced Skull and Bones. They talked about Starlink. They've got that VR project with Elijah Wood, Transference. We're going to do a panel with him tomorrow on that. So they've got a lot of games. So it'll be interesting to see, like, how much they focus on for this year and what the future is. And that's, um, what, that's what I'm saying. It's like, they, enough. Like, how many yeah. games can you have? <laughs> you know, like, you okay, you're somehow. working on a, a bunch of games. Let's have some fun. Let's, they're, they're, Just Dance got, like, a minute of time mm. last I, I year. I said last year they had Just Dance with BB Rexa performing, so there's always the crazy Just Dance performance. That you right. So would you like do, to perform this year? Let's do get, let's get Gangnam Style. Let's do <laughs> Harlem Shake. Let's get <laughs> nuts. Exactly. <laughs> For crying out loud. And like, it, it, there's always something kooky with Ubisoft, but we'll see. You know, rabbits, let's hope. More, more rabbits? I don't know. We don't need the rabbits. Let's no. do just Harlem Shake. Let's do the, let's do the <laughs> do mannequin challenge. The Let, the, let's do the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> you got to go back a few years. Bring it back to the ice bucket challenge. Do it. Like, let's, uh, you know, <laughs> let's have some fun. Let's no more all, right, all right, well, we are about a minute away from... All things Ubisoft to see if Rocco's predictions uh, come live. We do know we're going to see Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Pretty good chance we'll see a live gameplay demo of that, I think. Probably more on the Division 2. Uh, and then I think there's also a uh, chat that we would, we would hopefully hear more on uh, Skull and Bones and some of the other titles that they revealed last year. But there could be that one more thing. So what, what do you want that one more thing to be? Okay. Whew, uh, Maybe something completely new, right? That'd right, new IP? Yeah. I think that would be good, yeah. A new, a new IP completely blow people out of the water. Something that 
Maybe a new IP that comes back every year, that it's so good, you know? No, and that's the thing is, you know, I always like Watch Dogs. That's been, you know, been a couple years since I've done a Watch Dogs. Battle Royale Watch Dogs, that's it. <laughs> Battle I Royale feel everything. Like Ubisoft is a company that I feel like they have to have something Battle Royale. <laughs> they have to, at least one thing. Or something. It's like they're a big enough publisher <laughs> yeah. that's going to be required. All right, well, uh, it looks like we're getting ready to go to the Ubisoft press conference. Eve Gimo, the CEO, will be live with us after the briefing. We'll have reactions from you guys. A lot of the developers from the games uh, will be coming by to sort of share their thoughts and extended looks at these titles so we've got a big day and then leading up to the playstation press conference tonight um, that's going to be happening as well so uh, take a look here ubisoft live